Uh, right guys, uh, I'm going to give you a quick run through because what I'm actually doing at the moment is I'm cleaning the van and getting it ready for loading up for, for travel. Uh, Jen's busy doing the the curtains and cushion covers at the moment. So uh, the, the rest is sort of pretty much down to me. So I'm laying out all the stuff, laying out all the items that I need into this thing and getting them all ready. Um, I have to say I'm delighted the way the decorating has turned out. The knots on the wood are finally starting to show through. Now there's, for those of you who are painting Town and Groove Timber... See the brown spots there? They're the, they're the knots in the original wood. Now, I wanted them visible. Uh, so all I did was just paint it, uh, put the paint straight over them. If you're painting them in your house or you're painting pine doors or whatever, you can you get stuff called knotting compound. Touch it over every one of them knots and you'll never see them again. Um, but like I said, this is the look that I want. I wanted a whole kind of old-fashioned cottagey look inside it and they, they suit my look fine. Anyway, getting away from that. Um, guys, I, I didn't put it back on this cupboard. Uh, reason being is inside here is the cooler. A cooler has a fan, obviously, which circulates the air through it all the time, keep everything cool. And the best way for that to operate without me drilling holes all over the front here was to leave the back off of it. And it'll be get, because we'll be driving along or the windows of the van will be open, there'll be air circulating through here all the time. So it's the fastest and easiest way of getting air through to it. Also, you can see inside in the corner there with the inverter, the electric box... There's a nice flow of air going through that, which keeps the inverter cool, because that thing runs on a fan. There's a fan running on that all the time while it's running. So, guys, um, that's why the back isn't there. I've got my socket here and my 12 volt for the cooler, because it runs on both. Now, um, every, everything else, guys, um, I'm testing my gas this morning. That's how my gas will run. It runs on a pipe with the gas bottle outside. The gas bottle will never be inside when I'm actually running it because I don't trust the bloody things. So for the purposes of running that, that'll always be outside. But the gas bottles will be stored in, in along here. In the back there, over where the um, mud guard is, where it's insulated, I'll be running That's That space is for all my electric cables. They'll all be going in there. Um, it's kind of important, guys, to, to if you're going building one of these things, utilise as much of the space as you possibly can because they're actually quite small inside them and you'd be surprised at how fast you will fill them up. Um, I have done all the bases of all the shelves with the leftover vinyl from the floor. They're actually really good and it makes it makes it easy to it makes it easy to um, to clean them. Now, a little tip for you. Um, if you haven't got, uh, I put a lip here, so anything that's in there can fall out, but on the shelf up here where there isn't one, you can run a little bungee cord across from one side to the other when you're travelling, and if the door does open, it stops everything from flopping out. So, and the other thing, guys, make some different size shelves, uh, make some different size cupboards, like this one up here, for example. Uh, one second now. It's a full-size cupboard. The reason that's a full-size cupboard, I'm actually blocked it up as well today, the reason that's a full size cupboard is that's where my water is going to be. That's my main. I've got two 10 litre water drums. They'll both be going in there. So guys, um, we're nearly ready. I'll get, do a video. I'll do a video later. Um, of everything sort of in place. Uh, be, sort of before we ship out. And as we're doing our travels around, I'll be doing a travel blog. So guys, uh, you, won't be, uh, you won't be left out in the dark, so to speak, for the time we'll, we'll be away. We'll give you a look around the country. And just let you know what it looks like. Okay. See you later guys. Bye bye.